Yeah. Balls. Whoa. Balls. Yeah. Balls. Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Mm. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. Ooh. We be on fire, we be lit lit. lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Hey. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Ooh. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' break? Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not nothing, you know, my dad. Man, you know what, man? We got a guy here today, y'all. He don't need no introduction, as I always state. <laughs> Man, this guy right here, he uh, is a frequenter now. This is second time on the platform, man. Mm -hmm. I had to get him back in here. I called him the day before yesterday. I said, look here, man. Look, you over here too much, man. You And you in the city. You know what's going down, man. You know what's going down with the music. Why not, nigga? Yes, sir. My nigga Cash is in the building. Man. What's going on? What's happening? What's happening? Mm -hmm. I appreciate y'all. <laughs> Cash is in the building, man. Hey, man. Uh, you guys, man. Hey, man, listen, man. Uh, y'all got this game and going with it because I'm gonna be real with you. I can't. Uh, I can't. The times I call you and the music is in the background. Yeah. I like. I, I kudos to this nigga, man. Yeah. I done got old. Now you got. I mean, you know, you got. You still got to beat the ground. Put uh, put the, put your feet to the pavement. You know. <laughs> so I'm still out here. You outside? Outside. Really outside. You hear that? Mm-hmm. We inside. He outside. Yeah. He outside. Yeah, so man, how you been, man? Just bring me up to date on a little bit of what's been going on, man. Because I ain't gonna lie, one day I heard the music, the song was banging, yeah. and I seen you display it a little bit, but then you kind of seem like you kind of pushing back now. What's going on, man? I just been grinding, you know what I mean? Like, um, I'm just getting the catalog together, okay? Uh, I got some personal catalog stuff going, okay? Um, and then, um, you know, the road dropping this stuff, no, I'm dropping some stuff, yeah. Um, we about to. I'm gonna tell you exclusive. We're gonna do a little prime. Y'all hear that? Yeah. We'll give you exclusive. We're gonna do a prime time click project coming in spring. So okay, yeah. So that's prime time up. click gonna do a who I own, who gonna be on this project? Y'all yeah, know yet? Yeah, prime time click is huge. So yeah, but y'all gonna like it. It's, it's gonna it's gonna be new, something new. It's gonna be something. So you can't new. drop nothing else. You can't tell us nothing else. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> he gave us that though. Yeah. So you, I mean, speaking of that, man, the prime time click just. Um, where did that name come from? That was um Duro and um uh, R. P. Uh, D. A. Okay. So um they they both were basically like the leaders of the Prime Time Click. Uh, me and my partner was Merck, and we had Ingenious. So uh, that's on Duro. They really made Prime Time Click. It, but it was a, like a click full of stars, you know. We. Uh, when you look at what's going on with, with the music in the Dallas market, man, a lot of times, and I got to say this, man, uh, Yellow Beezy, man, like I just had a confrontation with my co-host and another guy like, man, a nigga hard. And they were like, what? I'm like, like, yeah, but he did. I think with Terry Blue was like, they don't, yeah, but they don't respect him in the city. And I was like, I don't give a damn about no respect in the city as long as I'm doing what I'm supposed to do for the masses because those are the people that made me uh made uh that's on me go platinum yeah. didn't it go platinum yeah see what i'm saying so yeah. i i'm not just indebted to just the dallas market i'm indebted to the world the because world, yeah. i gave them something and everybody is is, is riding with it now it's global especially like with streaming like i mean you could put on for your hometown but with streaming you basically global um it really don't have no boundaries no more so now you're right I, I seen that interview with you and Terry Blue. Yeah. So, yeah. Now nah, Yellow, he doing his thing. He doing his thing, right? Yeah. And that's the part what what trips me out is that that he doing a great job to me. But what do you think about 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 the whole uh, Yellow Beezy movement? You know, I know I was a little crushed when he didn't come on the show. Low DZ had told me he was coming, and he didn't he didn't come. But at the end of the day, I still that I don't hold that against the nigga. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I cut for them boys. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Far as the music, the movement, and what they mean to the 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 culture. So what what did you think about the uh, about about his music, his new project? I like Yellow Bees and music. I always, I always have. Um, I can't wait to see some more from him. Okay, That's well, he done, you want that hit, hit? That's what she mm -hmm. said. Yeah. When you hear her say that, yeah, she it ain't that because he done. He did the uh, badass Yellow Boy. Yeah. He did the Pimp C. Yeah. He did a lot of different things on this no, last but project. But it didn't hit like yeah. some of his hits. It didn't hit like that's on me. Mm -mm. That's what she's saying. Yeah. Yeah. See, so you getting it from a, a, a person who don't even listen to the music. But she yeah. said, but he got to make one of them, one of them ones. Yeah. yeah. That was what Kanye 
uh, was told by Jay Z. Yeah, you made that through the wire, but can you keep making them? Exactly, and that's what it's all about: keep making it, that consistency. Yeah, and then it's it's time periods and it's quarters. It's cold right now, so it's cuddle weather. Okay, you know, some people don't want to hear that aggressive stuff. <laughs> oh, is that how it goes? Ooh, yeah. That boy, that it's, 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 the, it's the cake and music. So you put like a cake song out, you know, a little female song, and it's gonna go all the way to Valentine's Day, and then really? spread. I, did, I, I never knew. I never knew that. That's gas, baby. In the building because they like to go to the club every day, all the time. So mm -hmm. you want that club music all the time. That's what I thought. Mm -hmm. No, nah, he just weather. told you it's what it was. It's the weather. She gonna steal your hoodie, steal your boss talk hoodie. Hey, she gonna work. Yeah. Is that everybody right? telling you the game right mm -hmm. now? I got so it. how is it in clubs? Because when I went to the club back in the days, yeah. man, you would hear something that come on, man, like, man, that key sweater come in there so hard, man, and mm -hmm. bam, you know, and you go over and you ask the girl, say, can I have this dance? Mm -hmm. And uh, she say, yeah, um, or she might say no. If she say no, I would sit down in the seat beside her because my boys was watching. Yeah. So I didn't really so want to nobody to know. Yeah. Oh, that's like something I saw in Martin Lawrence. Oh, uh, Martin. Yeah. No, this happened in real life. <laughs> nigga. So, because we asked her, you know, I get, you know, I don't mind the rejection, but it's just the fact that my homeboy done see me pipe it up like, oh, So I'm she good. ain't asking why I'm you sitting down? Her. I, this a free club, you know, bro. Exactly. Like, hey, I'm just sitting down. <laughs> I'm sitting down. But she don't know it's the camouflage right now. I'm sitting down. Then after that, I ease on up, move around. I might not go back to them. I might go to the bar. Yeah. I come back and hang out with them and tell them, oh, man, shoot, man, you know, she really wasn't all that. I talked to her, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, is she that depressed. How you yeah, she depressed or something, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But then. I had the fast music come back on after that. So we go back to dancing again and getting, you know, do getting that Do they even play on. slow music in the... In That's the, what I was getting yeah. to. Do they play it in the clubs anymore? Nah, yeah. Um, they do play slow music like on, on Thursdays at Palms. They got um, R&B nights, so they play R&B night. So R&B night is all old folks go? Or do you actually nah, have young it's, it's people young, in it? It's young people. It's young people. Shout I'm just checking. Uh, Dining. They play that Chris Brown, don't they? I mean, they, they play some. But they play a lot of everything. Like, it, it's new R&B. Okay. But you know, but... That soul, you play how deep is your love. <laughs> because yeah. the reason why I was asking that, because mm. then. Now, I wait a minute, stop. That how deep Did you hear you that see that ball right over there? You know what that is? Right. Yeah. When that how deep is your love come in? Yeah. And I was, like I said, I might be at the bar this time, just giving it to yeah. you. And I'm hanging out. And this time, we already been talking. So the girl I already macked on, we been talking already. Yeah. So when the song come on, I done already. Put her in the mood to where she like him. I done made her laugh a few times. Uh -huh. You know what I'm giggling, saying? Giggling. Then I said, "Hey, boo, I said you want to." So Mac ain't changing. Mac is still the same. <laughs> yeah, it's still the same. Still the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She want a drink, you know? <laughs> yeah, you got to buy a drink. Hey, yeah, that's the easy way out, right? Exactly. Yeah, because I heard girls say that guys not buying drinks no more like they used what? to. Nah, he said guys not buying. Nah, you got to buy a drink. drink. You got to hit the right charge. You got to buy the drink. Grab by the wrist or the hip a little bit, you know what I mean? But you know what? The the, the girls that told you that, niggas ain't buying them drinks. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Exactly. Niggas, exactly. niggas ain't buying now them drinks. It's drink other girls flowing. getting drinks. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. They just, they they really, whoever your friend is, tell them they got to step the game up. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah, because niggas is buying drinks. They buying okay. drinks. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Nigga really get a boss He buy the whole club drinks Everybody you, know I mean? you gotta keep the DJ some drinks If you want them to call your name And stuff all through the night Exactly I'm a hustler So I was doing it like that Yeah I was not just gonna be no Buying no girl no drink No we buying the bar drinks We buying the people That's in DJ booth drink Everybody get a drink Everybody And I'm gonna have a good time So every time I come in You know what they gonna say that nigga E is real, man. That nigga real, baby. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, everybody looking at you. <laughs> That's the way it go down. Mm -hmm. So, when you think about, like, no one, did you see his interview when I dropped it? Yeah, Boy, that nigga there, he had a good time. Now, with that was perfect interview. timing. It was perfect timing. <laughs> For yeah. real? Exactly. I, told, I, I tell my wife all the time, people don't know what we're thinking when we're dropping these interviews mm -hmm. and stuff. But the key thing is we pray a lot. So whenever we drop it, we know that we in sequence with what God will want. So that's why a lot of times you see the interviews come out that been around. You're like, dang. And then he called me like, e, that, was right, that was right on time, man. Nah, yeah, I'm proud of Noah. Noah really doing some big things. Um, him and DeRoe, they did the uh, the Mavs anthem now. Okay. Uh, they did the Mavs anthem. The Mavs anthem. How long ago did that happen? Is, is that, that something? Is week. it out? It dropped. It dropped yesterday. Co-signed by Mark Cuban. So it's just hey! so it's, it's official, you know. So I can find that um, on YouTube. 
Where can I find that song? You can song? find it on Instagram. On go, Instagram. Yeah, go to 63 or, or, or Digi Norm's Instagram or Mark Cuban Instagram. It's on there. It's on there. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to look at that. That's up. heavy. And That's I heavy. know it's heavy, man. Shout out to Mark Cuban, man. Appreciate you for all the love. Boss Talk 101. Want to see you sit in this seat. Yes, sir. I'm throwing my little old. Yeah, that's called that's called a Hail Mary, nigga. I need you over here. Yeah, yeah and I'll be watching Shark Tank, so show your boy some love. <laughs> <laughs> so when you when I look at like you and DeRoe and starting out the way y'all did so many years ago, how do you guys continue to respect each other enough to say, hey, man, because a lot of people that started together are not currently together today and don't even talk to one another. A lot of those deals that they, they went into caused a lot of schism between them and the people that they were around. So how do you guys continue to just uh, strive together as a team? Um, I feel like we got a genuine relationship. Um, majority of people, like, I mean, I think you could relate. Majority of people went from the past we, everybody was in survival mode You know what I mean And so when you're in survival mode You don't have morals You don't have character Nothing like that But we always worked on purpose So uh, through the whole situation From uh, when we were in Prairie View To now it, We always had a purpose A mission And I always keep emotion Even if it's just a little bit of motion, We always kept motion And kept inspiring each other um, The people who uh, fell out Like I said last time it, it They just were there for a season You know what I mean mm -hmm. it, it's, it's not for everybody And everybody just can't go around Sometimes it's like it's, it's positive parasites, you know what I mean? So sometimes they just leech on you and they weigh you down. You just got to move around. But wow. yeah, like that, I said, we just inspire each other and we, and we keep each other focused. We, uh, we uh, give constructive, uh, constructive criticism. So you need those people like who really know you. Yeah. Already, man. You know, I keep, you know, when I look over there at him, if what I think about and it's crazy is and then you going to feel me when I say this that Pimp C was his number one when he was on here last time. Exactly. See, I don't forget. Yeah. This is serious. And because he's a real stomp down Texas uh, go hard gorilla. Yes, sir. I just want to ask you, man, how am I doing when it come down to the Pimp C legacy and pushing the narrative about keeping his name alive? Now you're doing good. And everybody who come through, you hold it down for Pimp. Uh, you know, I feel like everybody in PA would probably be proud of you, you know. So I talked to a few of them. Yeah, you holding it down. And you keep it, you keeping this legacy alive, really, because um, you think how far removed, a lot of people forget about Pimp C, for real. Yeah. So, yeah, now that's good. I think when I came in, I had that intention mm -hmm. in mind. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't plan it. Yeah. It, come, it got to be in you. Yeah. Now, don't get me wrong. I love Bun B. And he could always come over and come on the show if he wanted to. But, man, it was... I, Pimp C was that one, like it was just his flair. His flair. Um, but love Bun B, uh, know what Bun B meant to that group. But this guy, man, Pimp C, was a whole nother level when it came down to uh, 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 music and just a, uh, 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 it was wild, man, because you never, he, he didn't do a bad verse either, nigga. Nah. Yeah, and you better, hey, take that monkey, you embarrassing us. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. He made a nigga go get his his necklaces get, together. Get it right, get it right. You, he made a nigga, uh, 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 yeah, yeah. Communion gave me the, yeah. I was already a star. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, this boy here, man, was just nah, he different. Was, nah, he was cold. Like, even like, um, I was just to an interview where they said that he was dating Gloria Velez, and, okay. and they was looking for her on the uh, Big Pimpin' video shoot, and she was with That's Pimp. Right. She pulled up with Pimp, and he pulled out with the fur. And it was like, hey man, it's hot out here. He said the cameras don't got no temperature. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I mean, see, I mean, and that's that flair. That you got to have that, and that's what a lot of these guys are missing. Dallas, if you, I've seen a lot of people. I put a lot of big ups on people, and I say they're gonna do this, and they 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 gonna do that, but they missing the flair. Mm -hmm. I'm serious. They missing the when I come in the room, that star power is not. Uh uh. Yeah. It ain't like that, man. Nah. It, 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 you got to you got to suck the energy out the room when you come in that you be so fly. Fast. Star power, but still for the people. I mean, because some people have that star power, but then so up there, so stuck up that when they see their fans and stuff like that, like they don't want to deal with them. <sighs> Humble, right? Mm -hmm. I seen come to Menace do something when I was at his his uh place. Remember that he stopped mm -hmm. what he was doing when took a picture with the kid that came mm -hmm. to his restaurant. Because he didn't have to be like that. He could be like, I'm with my family. Because some of them do that. Exactly. I done heard some of them say that. I done heard Ricky Smiley say that. Ricky Smiley, I'm with my family. I get it. Mm -hmm. But these people love you. And at the end of the day, God didn't bless you with a gift. Nope. Mm -hmm. 
I'm being real. Yeah. And, and 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 God, if He blessed you with a gift, then you're a leader for sure. And you just you have to you have to understand how to maneuver in a way to where everybody show love and and and, and underst understand your your ins and outs. Exactly. You know what I mean? And yeah. And like you said, people got to be humble. But people say humble like love Ricky Smiley too though. Don't yeah, love to us. But people say humble like you can't be confident. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can still be humble and confident. Yeah. You can be humble and confident. That's 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 news you can use. Mm -hmm. um, who you who do you who do you consider like one of those guys? Cause I ain't gonna lie. I done met a lot of them that ain't ain't Hollywood. Boosie ain't Hollywood. When I met Boosie, he yeah. was just a nigga that just talked. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I done met a lot of niggas, man. It's a bunch of them. This, nah, yeah. you know, I, I can't think of the ones that stand out to me as being ones that's just real come you know like come on and let's they all feel like hey man you know you you know even in the wrong the you can be in the wrong setting too like if you somewhere where everybody in that place is business owners mm -hmm. and you already know these people up close on on you and you in there talking like nah you know this right here that right there are you acting funny with the people why you bring your ass up here is that I'm being real. Nah, yeah. That, Why that, you bring your ass to this convention or some? I'm just I'm talking from personal experience yeah. with some of these niggas. Nah, yeah. Why would you come up here if you didn't want people to talk to you? That's how um on on a positive on the switch. That's how it was when um uh, Darrell brought uh, Nipsey down to Dallas to okay. shoot the video the first time, and so uh, Nipsey come out and the director he had a whole bunch of you know blue paint on you know trying to have the aesthetic for him yeah uh so next week came and he did his research and he had a um a, a red little bomb on okay and so everybody in dallas was confused you know because you go by street politics like why are you wearing blue i mean why are you wearing red 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 so he came he was like nah i just want to come out here and show respect i like let, let y'all know i'm not on that type of time i respect y'all turf and so like you said he mingling with the people because you know you go somewhere else People that's, think that's, I'm gonna pull your card. I'm gonna see what you're really about. That's big. That's big. That's big. And so he always like that's that's one stand up cat who was always humble and confident. You know what I mean? He never backed down, but he always educated people on everything like that. So you see me. You probably got about six pictures of Ti up on that wall because mm -hmm. I met Ti a lot of different times. I even wrote. I remember we wrote the elevator together uh, when we was at the Palms Hotel stand, um, and we went up together, but. It was always, and I get it, you know, because they got so much, many people coming at them. Yeah. But after a time, you got to realize, I met this man, when this man went to prison, I got to tell the story now. When this man went to prison, the first time, I met that man at the Caesars Palace mm -hmm. over in, uh, in in Vegas. We was at the Ed Hardy convention. Mm -hmm. It was the Ed Hardy show, but he was bringing his brand, trying to show forth, you know, his when brand. Was, yeah. I was there, right? Yeah. Not long after that, the nigga got to go to jail for these guns. Yeah. He go to jail for the guns. I'm still buying a coup the whole time when this nigga gone. Yeah. Now I turn around, right? I'm, I'm telling it. Ain't I? I turn around and when he come home, the Takers premiere is going to come on. Because that movie came out right after he got back then. Right after. Perfect time. And I flew back up to L.A., uh, to, uh, to Vegas, mm -hmm. and went to that Takers premiere, hung out with these people, him and that boy, that other white boy were living then, too. What was his Paul name? Paul Walker. Paul yeah. Walker. All of them was there. That nigga tried to holler at you that night. What's that nigga name? <laughs> Uh, Idris, Idris, this what happened. Yeah. The nigga, I got the pictures to prove it. Don't make me pop them <laughs> on the damn screen because we got them. Um, and after that, uh, you met Tiny that night too. Mm -hmm. You met Tiny that night. As a matter of fact, I didn't even meet Tiny. You met Tiny. I was way away from them. But at any rate, um, we stayed down then. He went to L.A. about a week after that. And guess what? What happened? He did some kind of U-turn or something, and they called him again, sent oh, him back pills. to the pen with yeah. the pills. Yeah. I still stayed selling these damn clothes. You know? yeah. <laughs> and, and because you got to understand, me and him got a lot in common when it come down to um, the hustle. Exactly. But then also, him getting in trouble, I got a soft spot for that too because I've been in situations. Mm -hmm. So I always stayed down with his whole movement. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, um, it ain't like the, a lot of the other people I deal with. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just being real. Yeah. Um, and I get it. You know, him and Charleston, they having their thing now. But 
I mean, at the end of the day, I'm a Ti fan, no matter what. No matter, well, no matter, I'm a fan before all of that. Exactly. At first, I did, I got a little mad about the little flip situation because I'm in Texas, uh -huh. but I had to get over it quick because that nigga wasn't letting up. Yeah. You. <laughs> nah, but like, but still, even with that, like when we diehard Texas people, nobody really had flip back like that when that happened. <laughs> I didn't. I couldn't. The the music was different. I'm gonna tell you what happened with that for me. Love flip. But I kind of had an issue with it because I felt like Flip got away from his foundational build of what made him what he was and started trying to be or trying to make the diss tracks. Yeah. And those diss tracks seemed to take him for me out of his his original state for me. But people people forget like Lil Flip, he was a battle rapper and stuff. So he was a battle rapper, but he was a freestyle king. Yeah, freestyle. So king. he his music was slowed down and DJ Screw and all that. I was used to that flip. Yeah. And when him and Erica Badu did that song together, and he oh, came yeah. on that, where well, he came, you remember yeah, that? Yeah, the love of my life. Like like he had the whole momentum. Yeah. All he had to do was keep doing what he does. But it, now you saying everything right, but it wasn't bad. I feel like now Tip go hard. That's one of my favorite artists too. Yeah, but I feel like he had the underdog. The underdog always gonna win. He and, was the underdog. Yeah, the underdog always gonna win. Like you say, Flip, he had hits. You start seeing him as commercial. Yeah, just so like almost like the Mayweather thing. People, no, nobody in Texas had Flip back. Yeah, for t nobody took Flip back until the end. You know what I mean? But we they let Ti come to uh, Houston. Yeah, I do whatever happened, you know. No, I got the goods on that. I just ain't released it yeah. yet. But I got yeah. the goods on that. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Coming soon. Coming real soon. Yeah. But I've been at it. She know it, but I know the, from somebody's perspective of what really happened that day. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, at the end of the day, uh, just to make a long story short, because T.I. is a family man, mm -hmm. because he values his children, mm -hmm. and because he values family, I really respected that part of him, the family hustle. Oh, yeah. The things, I don't care what he done got caught up in and all the whatever the hoopla is. Yeah. At the end of the day, he's a brother, and he holding it down. We done been through some rocky times. We've mm -hmm. been together 20 years. Mm -hmm. But I still respect the fact that he's still trying, man. A lot exactly. of niggas give up, walk away, and then try to talk about the man who decides to stay and build family. And I can't get down with that. So I'm nah. forever uh, indebted when it come down to tip. Uh, being a, a stand-up guy when it comes to his kids and his family, man. Exactly. So I, I, I'm rocking with that nigga. Oh yeah, nah, yeah. Tip, yeah, tip one one. <laughs> that's the that's the part right there where I get you at. Yeah. The same thing you talking about Nipsey earlier. When I met Nipsey at the Palms Hotel, he was not Hollywood. He was by himself, mm -hmm. and me and him was chopping it up. So mm -hmm. you know, it, that's a. I met Machine Gun Kelly the same way. Yeah. I met uh, uh, Bobby Brown the same way. Mm -hmm. um, just talking, walking and talking. I talked to everybody. Yeah. Just walking and talking and kicking it. That's how I met these guys. Gucci man the same way. Yeah. Now, uh, uh, OG Ron C, he like that. I remember uh, yeah. the BET College tour came, and uh, we was kids. And so, you know, we standing on the barricade, and everybody going in and out. It's him, Bun. And so we're like, OG, OG. So he came up. He said, I'm not about to let y'all in. Y'all just going to have to look like y'all belong, and they'll let you in. And that was a gym. So, you know, you got to compose yourself to like 30 seconds. Get your shoulder, throw your shoulders back, and just walk in. It's like, oh, it really worked. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the unconfident. They're like, nah, where your badge, boo? So, yeah. yeah. So yeah, nah, OG Ron C. He, he, he put you on game. He put me on game. Wow, mm -hmm. that's heavy, man. Who who else? Said, I'm gonna tell you another nigga that I, I I rock with. And and my wife said something the other day, and she was like, and we just talking Houston, y'all, because believe it or not, Cash Cash is from Houston. Uh, yeah, I'm a Houstonian. He from Houston, yeah. so that's why you hear me talking like this. Yeah. And and and. He got me out of my element a little bit, but yeah. it's all goody family. So when you think about Pow Wow, mm -hmm. stand up guy. He, he, now he one of the best. I met that nigga, me and my wife. I don't know, the other day my wife said something. It was like kind of almost like she didn't really, hadn't met the nigga. I was like, it was something. I got to go back and look. I don't forget too much. It was something you said and it kind of pushed us off. But I'm like, man, we stood and talked to that man and his wife. Me and you did. Nah. At, no, the, at the magic. Me yeah. and her no, sat and I talked remember, to these people for the long I remember long. talking to him, but I just don't remember his wife. She was there. I yes. talked to her. Crystal. I, mm -hmm. I remember she was at the, but I had met him before. Remember when uh, you met him before that too with him and Slim Thug that time and took them pictures. Mm. Yeah, when Slim was. Uh, yeah, I remember yeah. Slim that day. But yeah, I don't, remember that? Yeah, Power, I remember that, that was Pow Wow's boot. But I don't was remember. At. Yeah, I don't remember. You didn't that. know that, did you? But if you look up there, you're on the picture. Mm -hmm. Nah, but like you said, Pow Wow, one of them guys too. I seen a room with, uh, full of 100 people, 
and Paul Wall come in and he really greet everybody. Everybody in that, in that room. Everybody. And I respect Paul Wall because, uh, like, I don't know, like, coach of culture type thing, but he one of the only white people who has not crossed over and did no type of pop song or no, like, how Riff Raff and all these other people. Yeah. I mean, that's their culture. That's what they do. But he really is Paul Wall. He gonna forever stay Paul yeah. Wall because he really from there. Yeah. Like, and, and I like that about he him. He ain't wearing cowboy boots. He ain't none of that. Head. Yeah. But he, but but like I said, man, he one of them guys. I always I can post some and I tag him, and and basically he always support boss talk too. Sure. So he showed me love, man, and um, just I just thought about him when I think about just a guy who you he's approachable. Approachable. He's very humble. And he's a family man. He take care of his boys and exactly. his, his family again. I, that part, yep. because we've literally watched these artists grow up right before our eyes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's not easy to stand before everybody and grow up because everybody always going to be looking at you and trying to figure out ways to judge you, mm -hmm. whether correctly or incorrectly, or try to pose blame on some of the moves you make. Yep. But he's one of those guys, like I said, if I see him or if there's any way I can spend some money with him, when I, when I was carrying an expensive taste in here, mm -hmm. I was spending money just because he was powwow and because he was from Texas. Mm -hmm. When I bought a coup, he's a brother, and I bought a coup because he's, because he's T.I., and he's a king of oneself, and not only that, RP55 group with Lisa and all the people and, and right after people behind the scene was so genuine to me, I just won't never flake on people who don't flake on me. Not exactly. But then, not only that, it go it keeps going. When you start looking at the litany of people that we have bought clothes from, whether we had the Kooji account or whatever we was doing, we stayed true to basically trying to push these brands, but I always bring black brands in, mm -hmm. like um, a Soldier Boy, I did his his stuff too. Whether it was Boulevard or SOD game, I always supported uh, uh, Last Kings, mm -hmm. uh, Tiger. Tiger, yeah. Actually, uh, back and forth with his mom talking uh, Facebook days. I remember that, mm -hmm. and I always supported him when she because of the because of the the fact that these are brothers, and they have a brand. Exactly. If I see you and you're a brother and you have a brand, shout out to Clout, who was formerly High Volume, HVLM in New York. Mm -hmm. and they had their clothing run, run. I'm going to support you because you're a brother. And he, not only that, shout out to Gary with Black Leaf. We didn't have Black Leaf when we first met him. Is it Black Leaf? Yes, it's Black, Black Leaf. Black Leaf. And he got uh, risk takers too now mm -hmm. that he re-pushing. Shout out to them boys yeah. because these are brothers yeah. like yourself, yeah. entrepreneurs who trying to do something. And for the last 16 years at this store, we've always supported you know what I'm saying? We spend money with all these people, man. The best of the best. That's what make us different. I just had to give y'all that little history lesson now. <laughs> my boy Cash in here, I get to talk my talk, because we really, we interviewing, but we hanging out. Now we hanging out. That's what we do. What so, we do. How, what, what do you see in the show that's different that makes this show stand out from other shows? I feel like um, really what stand out is that it, it's – that homegrown, and then even with the the younger people that y'all talk to, R. P. to all the people. Who man, through, strap, man, strap. Um, Forty two uh, live, live. And, uh, and walk like Jordan. Exactly. <laughs> like y'all really try to give them tutelage and, and information to utilize in the interview. Yeah. So it's not just an interview. You're not sensationalizing it. You're not trying to take advantage of them just because they star power. Uh, even um the gentleman um. Who came out of jail, killed somebody, the, uh, the white gentleman. I forgot his name. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. I, that older guy? The older Woo, guy. Yeah, yeah we, that, was too, that was different, wasn't that it? That was different. But, yeah, it, it, it's the whole social climate. Uh, even the young ladies going through things. Um, it's, it's very, I, I feel like it's very therapeutic for people to be on the mic. Wow. Um, and, and it takes another level. Mm -hmm. Everybody else, I feel like, um, blinds have taken a, a negative spin where they kind of sensationalizing things and, and kind of over hyping things and causing beef. But yeah. not, not at Boss Talk, you yeah. know. We do get our little sauce in though. Nah, you do, but you, but it, but you but they you usually bring it to me though. Yeah, you, but you thought you thought a spin like how you had the back uh, behind the scenes with the um the situation that happened with them. Oh yeah, 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 yeah the two boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that was because one called me. If you call me, and then I I, I gotta give show respect to both sides. Exactly. That's what we used to be trying to do, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you ask yourself, how the hell these folks got both of these people on here? It's because I go the extra mile to make sure we don't make it look a certain way. Mm -hmm. We got to try to show love on both sides. Exactly. And see what the heck is going on. And I don't know how that worked out for them, but at least I know from a perspective of the internet, they can go on there and see 
both sides being told and nobody don't look a certain way. Yeah. You look the way you presented yourself. Exactly. And like, y'all humanize a lot of people. And so that's good. Even like people who um, most people don't like, y'all humanize them. So that's good. Try, oh, yeah. It's some of those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, who would you like to see us get on Boss Talk? Who you thinking? Uh, how did you like that Chose? That Chose went up this time. Yeah, Chose went up. DJ Chose, Chose, man. Yeah, Chose, went up. He went up. B King went up. B King went up. Y'all need to get Sauce Walker. And the TSF uh, people in here. I only did Saucewood winning. We have reached out to oh, Sauce yeah. Walker. We walk. We reach out. Uh, we've 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 tried to uh, link up with him. He linked up with some of my people in LA. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, Sauce Walker's a good dude, man. I try to promo his music all the time. You see me now, putting yeah. it out there. The Saucewood winning did that one did go hard, and um, it kind of it humanized and put him in a good light. His yeah. next door and everything. But yeah. The, walk, the South Walker one would go hard. I, I feel like that would be. I think, it may, but can you see him sitting down in here having a decent conversation? Yeah, cause he he's articulate. So he like he's different. Like he he really is a leader and an entrepreneur. So from all his information, like he's very analytical. So I think that'll be a great interview on some on some on some real boss talk. Wow, me. what a! I got a question because you're into music, right? Mm -hmm. It says Nicki Minaj calls out the Grammys for moving super freaky girl from rap to pop. Mm -hmm. Claims Lotto is treated differently. What do you, what are your views on that? I feel like uh, Nicki is being a bully <laughs> on these young ladies. She's just being a bully. She she Nicki's always Nicki will always be relevant, but in her psyche, it's her ego. Uh, she don't understand that she's not relevant. Cash, so you I don't love think you, but she's been treated differently. Cash, no. I love you, bro. You my bro, man. But Nicki Minaj, I'm not for to sit in here and play like she don't deserve everything that she decides to give up because she did with, things with, with, with she did things that a lot of these young ladies was not able to do in the midst of a male dominated time. What do what Lil Kim did? Lil Kim ain't do what. No, nah, that's a difference. What she do? Man, man, she just more. She just lyrical and articulate. You talk about her, what's, listen, what's Lil Kim? I don't know, man. Plastic surgery. The I'm, I'm not saying. Oh. I'm not saying, man. I, I, I'm just telling you. For me, Nikki, nah, the singing, the the way she carry her Nick, brand, Nicki, the way nah, the way Birdman and work yeah, with Nick, her. Nicki Minaj, she a star. She is it's a star. Different. It's different, and she can put out. She can put out. Anything and it'll, it'll go platinum. So why are you calling her a bully? She's a bully. When y'all listen to Super uh, Super Freak? Yeah. No, you don't. Yeah, I have. When I listened when to it when it first, first came out, came out. we all listen. We all do that. <laughs> it ain't in rotation. <laughs> <laughs> I, so what categorizes if a song is category pop pop from rap? It's, it's like the BPMs. It's um the format. A lot of Nicki Minaj because hers was always rap. So why they shifted to pop? Well, not all her songs. Uh, no, I'm talking that song in particular. Super freaky girl. It's actually a compliment. She she takes it. Nicki Minaj wants to be still part of the culture and wants to feel relevant with the culture. She's part of the culture. She's a, she's big, but she want to feel underground. So she's part like linear. She's not. She's a star. So being categorized as pop is a compliment. It's not she don't really, she she's not rap. Super Freak is not a rap song. It's a pop song. If Lotto made that song, it would be trash. Well, you can't blame Nicki for that. I can't. That's what I'm saying. She got star power. She she really is that girl. It's a lot of stuff that Wayne do that you be like only Wayne could do. That whole little camp. Yeah, I get it. I, I get it. We can sit here and yeah, you know me. I ain't playing. I ain't playing about uh, Birdman and and nah. Baby and and the South and and Jay Prince and yeah, yeah Ghetto Boys, nigga. All this, nigga. Yeah. I'm not playing about this. Nah, Bum but, B U G K. Nah, I'm not playing about nothing. None, none of them. But you gotta you gotta respect the uh, the young girl. The young one coming up. Yeah, I get it. I, and, I, I feel you. And they all give her flowers. I feel like she just want too much. She from New York. Whoa, she got New York arrogance. Whoa, not all of them. Some who of them don't give her. I ain't gonna say. Who don't? I ain't saying. All of them. Even people she <laughs> be <forget>. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think sometimes people look at her and 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 they, they you gotta understand, man. She did something that a lot of girls are riding that wave now to even be in the in the, in in these uh, seats and in these performance arenas uh, is because of a lot of stuff Nikki did and, and you right. Yeah. Look, him did it before her. And uh, you got to say, man, MC Light, man, you got to start talking about Queen Latifah. You got to start talking about all these people, man. You can't just throw a couple of names out there. Nah, yeah. You got to talk about uh, my girl, you, Salt and Pepper. Man, come on, man. 
Who was that with Master P, nigga? Oh, playing, MC, man. Uh, uh, me or X. Me or X, nigga, yeah. around there. Oh, man, like Mercedes. a bum gonna blow. Man, so uh, talk to me about, uh, we, go, we, about to, we about to finish it up, but okay. just um, um, give me, uh, give me, how can people get a hold of you? Let's talk about it like that. I'm, a, I'm everywhere, Cash Capone, no hyphens, no underscores. It's, it's really me. You can find me on any social media like that. And don't be surprised when Cash come right back, nigga, because yeah, we're right we doing back. this all day, all, day. all night. Boss talk. <laughs> We kicking this home team, baby. Yes, sir. That's Shout what we out do. to the boys in Texas, man. Yeah. The Texas way, man. You know what I mean? And then, like I said, uh, even with Boss Talk, I mean, like, y'all doing so big things, you know? I think yeah. it's almost time for, like, a spin off or something like that. So I see y'all doing the, uh, what, the rich people problems and all that. We got rich people problems, but we got the, we got a lot going on. There's stuff that got delayed. We finna start pushing the narrative. See? And then, uh, you know, we got some, some, some stuff coming that's gonna surprise people, but you're gonna get to see a lot of people that have been with us and riding with us the whole time behind the scenes. We're always looking for ways to try to be better, man. Exactly. So, so y'all doing it. it, man. Hey, man. Hey, we love you as always, brother. You know family. Yeah. Nigga, we ain't gonna never stop. Never. Man, did we get everything out? We now coming we right everything. back yeah. in and wait, man. Yeah, you know. Holla at your boy. It's One a time. unique hustle. hustle. Boss Talk 101. What a boss is. Do what? Talk. Hey.